Once you have your home recording studio space set up, it's time to power up the iPhone. From there, select the camera app. Then you want to make sure you select the video function and go to the selfie mode, which you can toggle with the icon on the bottom right hand corner. Hi everyone. You should now see yourself in your video. The next step is to test your levels. To do this on an iPhone, it's very simple. You adjust the position of your body and where you're going to be playing um, into the phone. So I recommend about two to, three to, two to three feet away from your phone is probably the best spot to perform because it picks up a nice blend of the room sound as well as your own instrumental sound. I'll kind of demonstrate right now. Here's what the sound sounds like if you're playing right up against the camera. So it might be a little too much. Um, these microphones on these iPhones are fantastic. Um, they do condense really well, but you still might get somewhat um, of a distorted sound. If you stand too far away, you might get too much room sound and not, a mu not enough instrumental sound. So again, I recommend about two to three feet away. To find that sweet spot with the audio pickup. Once you're satisfied with your levels, um, you want to queue up the track on your audio reference device. In this case, I'm using a MacBook Pro, which is just to my right here. And I have um, the song queued up that I'm about to record, which is a Marching Man arrangement of Crazy in Love. I'm gonna just start it right now so you can hear it. Really great arrangement. Um, and that's what I'm going to be performing to. To my left, I have my music stand and my music, specific trombone part for this song. Um, and I'm going to record both parts together. Now if I record with um, no headphones, there will be a natural bleed between the audio and the reference track and my trombone sound, and that won't help us get um, a final product of just trombone sound. To fix this, all you really need is a simple set of headphones or earbuds um, that plug directly into your audio reference device. Again, this, I'm using a MacBook Pro, but you could use another a phone, you can use an, an iPad. If you got a Walkman, you can use a Walkman, whatever you want, whatever you're going to play along to. Um, it is crucial though that you do not use any sort of wireless um, headphones like AirPods. Those will create a natural latency delay because the data has to travel from the device to your AirPods and then out of your horn. Um, or other instrument, and so your, your track at the end will be a little delayed um, compared to everyone else's. So make sure you, you wire up and plug in directly to your device. I like to use one um, headphone on and one headphone off. This is always, always recorded. That way I get a sense of hearing my own instrumental sound in the room that I'm in, but also have a clear reference to follow. And again, just a side note, this is how most music is recorded nowadays in a lot of studios. I mean, a lot of people are tracking individually, and at the end it's layered and mixed together into one final product. But everyone is queued up to a master um, or rough track that they can follow and play and record along to. So once you're ready, you've got your instrument, you've got your track queued up, um, you can record. To record, it's very simple. You hit the red circle on your iPhone screen, and then when you're finished recording, you hit the red square. Let's demo that right now. Da 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 da
So I didn't record the entire song, but for the sake of the tutorial, that was a short um, section of uh, the trombone part to Crazy in Love. Once it is finished and recorded, you want to assess and reflect your final product, and then, of course, upload it to the cloud. Um, to do that, you can actually see the most recent recording you made by, on the lower left here. You can see my smaller version of my face by selecting that, and you can listen back to it. Let's hear myself play a little bit of the trombone part. Great. If you're satisfied with that recording, then you can upload it directly to the cloud by selecting the share button. Really quick, that's in the bottom left here, the little square and arrow. You're going to go, in this case, the Google Drive. It needs to upload, so give it a brief moment to upload the information up into the cloud. Great. Then you need to select the destination. In this case, we're gonna to go to my account, my drive, Crazy in Love Recordings. I have a few other ones there already. You're going to save it. Make sure you rename it. Let's go Zelm, that's my last name, Crazy in Love. Then you upload. There it goes. Could take a moment, depending on how much um, data you have in your recording. And then it's uploaded to the drive and you're complete. Um, thank you. This has been a short tutorial on how to make simple home audio recordings using um, just basic iPhone and a, a reference device player like a MacBook Pro or another iPad or iPhone itself.